minute since I've actually done a talk through tutorial and since I did get some new drugstore products that weren't really enough to qualify for a haul and instead of just doing like separate reviews and sort of integrating them into different videos I figured what better way than just use them all at the same time so I'm gonna go ahead and do a get ready with me with my new drugstore products and most of these if not all of these I'm using for the very first time so it's gonna be sort of two videos in one it's gonna be the get ready with me and also like you're gonna see my first impressions and you know what I first think about them as I'm using them for the very first time which is basically a first impression sort of sums it up and I will let you know like as I'm using them which products are new and which ones are using for the very first time and of course my thoughts on them so so let's get started okay I'm just gonna start off first off with my Urban Decay B6 spray, which of course is not new. Ooh. How have you guys been lately? I know it's been a while since I've actually sat down and filmed a talk through video. I've been getting really used to just like the music behind videos. Let me know what kind of videos you guys prefer. Do you prefer like the talk through or the voiceovers, which I have not done yet, or just the music over videos, which you can get like more of a concise video, everything kind of on a quicker pace. Okay, so what I'm starting out, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, which is a new product, and I was going to get the um the regular True Match because Nicole Guerrero is always talking about it and she has like incredibly gorgeous skin so I was like well if that's what works for her then I'm definitely gonna get this. Lately I've really been into like this little glowing luminous like sort of summery face and so I decided to go with the Lumi because um that's kind of the um idea of the Lumi is basically to be like the True Match but you know sort of more I guess it would be more for dry skin which I do have oily skin but hey oily skin girls can also rock the um you know the illuminating skin so yeah this is the first time I'm using this and what shade did I get I don't know if I can even see without my glasses this is the shade N12 soft ivory and this was definitely one of the um, lightest shades they had available sometimes it's really hard for me to decide which shade of light would match my skin tone best because I'm light but I'm not like porcelain light I used to be like porcelain light. like I used to wear the um, lightest shade possible in foundations but especially now that it's sort of the summer weather well it's technically still spring but here in the south it's you know 90s i am getting a little bit of color so i'm probably going transitioning from like pasty ghost white to just like plain light this goes on really nicely i think a lot anything really goes on sort of amazingly with the beauty blender but this is just yeah it blends out really nicely i think this is a good color match for me i think once we get into like july and august it might be too light for me because i am going to be you know in the sun more and my skin is going to darken up just a bit i mean it doesn't get like crazy dark but i do go at least one sometimes two shades darker but this is just, yeah, I mean, it's blending in so well. And I really, yeah, I definitely see why they call it a Lumi. Because I don't know if you can see so far, but it's just very bright. And just, yeah, perfect for this time of, time of the year. And I did get a new tripod. I don't know if you guys can tell. It is higher. My, my other one was a lot lower. So you can actually see, like, my mirror. Let me know how you guys think about this. If you like like the higher sort of angle, like right on, or if you like it like lower where you can actually see me like looking into the mirror because my mirror is right here. Let me know what you think about that. I'm always wondering. I'm always trying to improve. But sometimes what's good what's good for me is not good for you guys. So I try to keep you guys in mind as I'm doing these. Let me I really absolutely love this foundation. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be like my new go-to foundation. And it's just gorgeous. It matched me perfectly. It just made my skin look like awake. Like you know how you just, I don't know, like it just made my skin look so awake and bright. I don't know if it's translating onto um, camera, but it's amazing that I almost don't even look like I need concealer, which is unheard of because I have like raccoon allergy circles under my eyes and I get like crazy redness and like, I don't know if you guys can see, but it barely looks like I even need concealer, but I did get a new concealer, so for the sake of using all these um, products together, and I cannot find the lid for this, here it is. So the concealer that I got, which I also heard, I'm pretty sure from Nicole Guerrero, and I think from Jaclyn Hill as well, anyway, is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I got this in number 10 light. I've heard a lot of things about it, and I think um, another one of my favorite beauty girls uses this too. I can't remember who, but 
I heard it from several different people. You know, I really respect their opinions. And this, since it was a drugstore item, it's not like I you know, went to Sephora to try something out. So, I mean, if it ends up being, you know, a miss, then it's not like a huge deal. And this is light, but it doesn't look like it's super light. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and just use this as my highlighter. Because I did get a, um, a new drugstore highlighter, but it is a um, powder highlighter, so that's going to be like towards the end. So for now, I'm going to hope that this is light enough to use as a cream highlighter. If not, I can always go and get the other, like, I think there's a, sh I don't know, maybe there isn't a shade lighter than this. This is light, but this is light, but I don't know if you guys can see, it doesn't really look light. It looks more like light medium. I don't know. Sometimes the shades are so crazy, like... Especially online. I did get that in the store, but online, like, the shades are almost impossible to distinguish, like, which one you need. So it's hard for us, like, who live in, like, smaller towns, who don't have, like, all the stores, you know, around us who can, you know, just go and, like, color match. It's such a pain. And I do actually have a Sephora here, but, um, I don't know if I've explained it before. Like, it's new, but it's in the mall, so in order to get to it, I have to, like, go in the mall. Which means I have to take my son with me, and I can't have him, like, just sort of hanging out in a store like that. So he either has to be in a stroller, or I have to put him in, like, the little, um, car things. You know, little push car things that they have in the mall, and that's $5. So I have to spend $5 just to go in Sephora. And, you know, if I'm already going to go into the mall, I'm probably going to, like, get other things other than just that. This actually looks really good. I'm actually really liking this concealer and this foundation together. I'm so glad that I got both of these. I hope it's focusing. Anyway, yeah, I mean, it completely just took away all of my little imperfections, and I'm kind of really, like, super overly impressed, more impressed than I thought I would be, honestly, for this kind of foundation. So, going along the sort of, you know, look that I'm going for, the illuminated look. I was not able to pick up a new drugstore bronzer, so I'm just going to go with my normal high-end Chanel bronzer, because that's what I've really been liking with these kind of illuminated looks. Just really, just keeping everything more of like a cream base instead of a powder base. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Really, you've been looking for like a way to get your skin sort of more glowy. Like that. I don't know, a lot of people have been talking about getting like that J-Lo glow. I would definitely recommend um, switching up some of your powder products for cream products. Because I don't know if you guys remember, but when I first started making videos, what, five months ago? Not that long ago. I mean, I um, even discussed that I was just so much like into powder powder bronzers, powder blushes, which I still am. I do love that stuff, but like, as the weather starts to change, I just really realized how, like, much better of a look that I got from the cream products, and it's just, it's like night and day. It's kind of incredible, and really, if you are using cream products, I would really, really recommend using the Beauty Blender or any other, like, um, blending sponge. I know there's a real technique ones out there. It's supposed to be pretty good, but I am just kind of attached to my Beauty Blender, but, um, any kind of yeah spongy product I would really really recommend using instead of a brush it really just works in the skin and it looks so natural I mean, it looks like your skin is naturally contoured that way and that's kind of what I go for you know in the warmer buttons you know when it's winter all bets are off you know I want my boom cheap booms I want my blush like you know all over the place and I still do that sometimes but I think especially if you live like in a warmer climate like I do and you just walk outside to go and check your mail and you're already sweating off your makeup it really is nice to have like cream products because they look natural even when it when you sweat they look natural it's not like you know when you sweat and you have um, powder products you can see like the streaks or anything even well blooded powder products you still if you sweat the amount that you will in the south believe me you'll see it but this just blends it out so flawlessly and it's just a perfect subtle touch and of course you can always add more you know to get the sort of effect that you like but i really just like this subtle look and i think it's just amazing and for blush i'm actually trying out a new product which i've heard tons about i've heard people rave about this this is the milani baked blush in luminoso and it is just there are like no words to really describe how gorgeous this blush is so, oh, that is crazy. I just dipped it in there and look at all that that came off. So definitely might want to do a light hand with this guy. And I'm not using um, like a setting powder for anything, by the way, because 
but like I said with the sweating and issue being hot here I just really have not been into like the matte look lately which I'm usually I'm all over because I have oily skin but you know what I'm just embracing it lately I'm just really just liking the look of my skin lately I don't know why and that is the blush I don't know if you can see it, but that's gorgeous. And I knew it was going to be gorgeous before I even put it on. I didn't even need to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and actually get my eyebrows. And I'm just going to go ahead and do those off camera because you guys have seen me do them before. And I do have a full, like, eyebrow routine, like how I fill in my eyebrows with my red powder and pencil. And I will link that below if you're interested in that. So let me go ahead and get that done. And I will be back with the rest of this tutorial. Okay, so eyebrows are done. And I'm going to go ahead and continue with eyeshadow. And I got this gorgeous amazing eyeshadow shade um this is just from the l'oreal infallible and this is amber rush and of course again jacqueline hill made me do it and i'm so excited to use it i have not used this yet this is a new product and i'm just going to start actually use by using a um transition shade from the naked three palette because i cannot i did not get any other new eyeshadows from the drugstore sorry about that guys but so i'm just going to start with the um the Nika 3 palette, and I'm going to use the shade Nooner just for a crease transition shade because I think it would work really well with that um, Amber Rush color because it is sort of like a rose goldy type of shade. It's a little bit more shimmer, which of course you guys know that the Naked 3 is full of rose gold. So, pop this shade. And this is really just kind of like the perfect transition shade to really any color. I mean, I use this shade Nooner probably more than any other shade. And the Naked 3 palette just because it is really just like the perfect both crease and transition color. Popped a little bit of that in the um, crease, but this is actually with a Sigma blending brush. <clears throat> and I did not use any primer either for my face or for my eyes as you see because I really want to see how the wear of everything is, how the foundation, the concealer, eyeshadow, everything wears without the use of a primer. And then of course on any other day I would use a primer, but... Today I'm not, because this is going to be a legit first impression. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of the Amber Rush shade, which is just gorgeous. And it looks better, actually, swatched, and it even does on here. In here it looks gorgeous. I'm just going to take a little bit of that, and I'm going to put it all over the lid. It's just gorgeous. And even though I can barely see it because I'm blind without my glasses, I can still tell that it's gorgeous. Okay, so that is the color, and it is a lot lighter than I thought it would be, actually. So I'm actually going to go in, and I'm going to darken up that crease just a little bit, because I th think that it would look a lot better with a little bit of a darker crease. So I'm going to actually go in with Factory from the Naked 3 palette, and just kind of darken it up just a tad, so I think it'll help bring out that Amber Rush a lot more. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm thinking maybe it'll help intensify the Amber Rush if I just put a little bit of Fix Plus on my brush, which is what I do for my MAC pigments. Let me see if that will actually help it come out a little bit more intense. It's definitely more intense once you um, add some of the Fix Plus. Still, even with the Fix Plus, not as intense as I thought it would be, but I think it definitely helped a lot once I added that. And there's a highlight shade. I'm just going to go ahead and use Strange from the Naked 3 just because I have it out and it's ready. And Strange is a really nice matte highlight color which sort of really offsets all the other shimmery shades that I have going on. I'm going to take a little bit of that and pop it in the inner corner. And I apologize for the light because it's the sun starting to go down. As far as mascara, this actually isn't a new mascara. I've actually had this for several months, but I've never used it. Um, I just took it out of the packaging because I got it for a gift. And I had so many other mascaras that I was already trying to go through and use up that I completely just forgot about this. So I thought, what better time than to try it out than right now when I'm doing my other drugstore items. So this is the Flamed Up Mega Curl um, Mascara from CoverGirl. That's what it looks like. I know you guys probably remember it from a couple months ago. But I'm clearly late on the bandwagon, and I have not tried it out yet, so... Let's give this guy a go, and that's what the brush looks like. It looks like a mustache. Looks like a little Hitler mustache. Okay, so let's get started. I hope you guys can see that. Already, like right away, I can see that it's already adding like a lot of darkness to my lashes. Like my lashes look so much darker. <laughs> than they were and it's weird because the brush like I almost feel like the brush is so fluffy that I'm not actually getting in there far enough but like it's adding so much color to my lashes which is kind of amazing 
separating them and lengthening them and adding like a lot of color. I really like it, but I'm not crazy about the brush. Like I said, the brush is so fluffy, I feel like I can't get in there far, but anyway, that's one coat just on the top. Oh, my camera's focusing. I'm gonna do one more coat on the top. It's two coats on the top, which I don't know if it's really showing up on camera, but it's really voluminous and sort of just dark, and I really like that a lot. Yeah, this mascara is definitely not good for bottom lashes. Like, I feel like I can barely get to my bottom lashes. Oh, and I just got, like, yeah, this one is way too big for the bottom lashes. Like, it gets everywhere. And I did one small coat in the bottom as much as I could possibly do with this giant wand. And I think it looks pretty good overall. I really like it, especially for the dark, for the dark, for the top lashes. Okay, next up, I'm going to go in with my powder highlighter. And this is just the e.l.f baked highlighter and this is in blush gems and this is one of my new products that I've never used before so let's see how this guy works out Ooh, looks pretty nice so far elf has really been stepping up their game by the way I have like a giant elf haul coming soon and it's gonna be like totally complete with swatches um, both like regular swatches and on the lip swatches for like the uh, lip products which I think will be really helpful and I'm gonna do sort of like in-depth swatching which of course I'm horrible at but don't tell anyone that okay so I really like this it's very yeah it's very natural I wouldn't say so subtle but it's very like nice and bronzy and just goes well with what I've been liking lately and this is new this is the Georgiana Twist and Shine Moisturizing Lip Balm, and this is in 04 Candied Coral, and this I actually found from Lee's video, which is Mami Chula, and she's one of my favorite, and she likes words by them, and especially this color. I'm going to go ahead and pop this on, and these are, like, really nice and moisturizing. This color is like perfect for the spring and you can totally just rock it as is. But I'm actually going to top it with my um, Whitening Lightning Lip Gloss and Coral Craze. Want to see something cool? Oh, I come with a little mirror. Yeah, I'm fancy. Anyway, this is Coral Craze, so it's perfect, obviously, to go on top of the Candied Coral. And this lip balm is so moisturizing and so... It's not sticky. It's not tacky. It's perfect. Okay, and to set everything off, I actually got this NYX Dewy Finish Spray. It's supposed to be for like, um, as the name suggests, a dewy finish instead of like a matte finish spray. And although this is already very like dewy and luminous just for the sake of using it for the first time, I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Oh, it's so cold. It's so cooling. I almost would think this would be like a, you know, like one of those like, um, spring water sprays. It's so cooling. So let's see. Yeah, it's definitely breaking up, like some of the powder, just on, like from my blush. So what do you guys think? I think this is like a perfect <coughs> spring summer look, personally. This is like what I've been going for, like the entire, I don't even know, for months, and I've just absolutely been loving it. So this is the entire look for my drugstore um, new products get ready with me and I hope you guys really enjoy it and let me know if you enjoy these type of talk through tutorials like I said if you want me to dabble in the voiceovers or if you just footage of me getting ready with some music in the background if you just like the quick and to the point get through with it in five minutes and be over with it deal instead of like this video which I'm sure is very long anyway so this is the entire look I hope you guys enjoyed this give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this um, comment down below with any suggestions you may have and I will see you guys in the next video Bye.